There are two very important rules of probability, both of which are mostly just learning to translate from English to math talk. One is a multiplication rule. If A and B are two events, such as being a sophomore and having a four-point GPA, then to find the probability of drawing a person with both conditions, the probability formula is probability of A and B equals probability of B times the probability of A given B. One easy way to remember the multiplication rule is that the word and means that the event has to satisfy two conditions. For example, the person drawn from the class roster is to be a sophomore with a four-point GPA. Both conditions have to apply. It is harder to satisfy two conditions simultaneously than only one. And of course, when we multiply fractions, the result is always smaller than either number. This reflects the increasing difficulty of satisfying two conditions simultaneously. Think of searching the web. If you put in one condition, say, economic development papers, you'll get thousands of hits. If you search and say, economic development papers and Latin American country, you will get many fewer papers. The word and has placed a second condition on the search, just as sophomore with four-point GPA has set two conditions and thus reduces the probability. An important part of the multiplication rule is the case where the events are independent. There are many situations where this is the case. An example is the flipping coins. The outcome of each flip is independent of what came before and what will follow. If A and B are independent, then A given B equals probability of A. So the multiplication rule, probability of A and B, is equal to probability of B times the probability of A given B. It becomes, by substitution, probability of A and B equals probability of A times, simply, the probability of B. In that situation, there is no conditional term because the independence says the probability of A given that B occurred is irrelevant.